Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at a, the first shifting property of Laplace transform. Property. That is, if a function in time that is f of t is multiplied by an exponential e power a t, then it is equivalent to a shift of a in s plane. That is, if we have a function f of t whose Laplace transform is equal to f of s, then the Laplace transform of the product of exponential e power a t into the function f of t is equal to f of s minus a, that is a multiplication with an exponential e power a t in time domain is equivalent to a shift of amount a which is the rate of the exponential in s plane. Therefore, this shift is in s plane. And this multiplication or modulation in time domain with an exponential. Thus, modulation with an exponential in time domain is equivalent to a shift in S. So, let us look at the proof of this property. Starting with the LHS, that is Laplace transform of the product e power a t into f of t is equal to, by definition, integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t e power a t f of t d t which is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus of s minus a into t f of t dt. And by assuming s of s minus a is equal to r, we can rewrite the integral as integral 0 to infinity e power minus r t f of t dt, which is basically equal to f of r. And r is equal to s minus a, so this is equal to f of s minus a. Let us look at an example. We know that the Laplace transform of cos 2t, that is our f of t, is equal to s by s square plus 2 square, which is 4. Now, the Laplace transform of the product e power minus t with the function cos of 2t is equal to, we basically replace the s with, we replace s with s plus 1, since a is equal to minus 1. A we replace the parameter s with s plus 1 in this result, which becomes s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus 4, which is equal to s plus 1 over s square plus 2s plus 5. Thus, we can use the shifting property to calculate the Laplace transform of the products of this form, where one of the factors is e power 80. Thanks for watching.